Yeah, she was in the Netherlands. Yeah, it's me. That flight was like three hours. I dead ass slept the entire three hours. Like no waking up. I just slept straight three hours. Except for this one time where the guy next to me woke me up randomly to give me a sweater to sleep on. I don't know. I was still like mid haze sleeping, so I was really confused. But he woke me up. He was like, here, take this. And I'm like, really confused. I'm like, and I took it and he was explaining, oh yeah, for you to sleep on. And I'm like still confused, so I just took it and I just slept on it. Then I woke up and I realized I have been sleeping on a middle-aged man's sweater for the past three hours. It was kind of comfy though, I can't lie. We're gonna go get our luggage. I have no idea what the plan is for today. I think first off, we're gonna go see tulips. I need coffee. I need to pee and I need coffee. driving to like a tulip field I think but the weather's kinda dookie maybe it won't happen, I don't know dude why do I always look way better when I'm abroad? like why don't I look like this when I'm in Malta? it's the air I think we've arrived at the tulip fields it's raining so we're not gonna go to the tulip fields change of plans guys it's not raining anymore we're going crazy but let's enter the game Guys, you're probably wondering, oh my god, Kira, your scarf is so cute, where'd you get it from? Trendy thrifting Malta. And if I open my jacket a little, oh, Kira, your sweater's so cute, where'd you get it from? Trendy thrifting Malta. She sent me like the cutest style bundle ever that I'm gonna wear during this entire trip. So if you see me wear like really cute clothes, it's probably from Trendy thrifting Malta. So check them out if you want to be cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cute. Can you believe this is real? Can you believe this? <laughs> you trying to eat me or something? These are so yellow. You think you think I blend in? <laughs> camouflage? Camouflage? Do I camouflage? You can't even see me, right? Going in a maze? What happens if we don't make it out? We die. Encouraging. Oh, that's a dead end. Never mind. Where at? Wait, that's a dead end. A shed. That's so exciting. I love going through all that work for this shed. Wow. That's pretty cute. Pretty cute, I guess. Yeah. Was it worth it? Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's go. I have no idea how many undone assignments I have and tests I have the coming week. I had a whole plan like, oh, you're gonna be on the airplane for like three hours. So I thought like, okay, might as well lock in and study on the airplane. I didn't study on the airplane. Guess what I did on the airplane? Sleep on a middle-aged man's sweater for three hours. Starting to rain again. I'm getting wet. This is not tickling my pickle. I have a hood. I don't have a hood. I have a scarf. Very chunky scarf from Trendy Thrifting Malta. <laughs> Now I know getting left out in a trial hurts, but imagine getting left out in a group of four. I'm at the back. I'm at the deck. I'm dead ass here talking and they're straight up ignoring me. If I run away, I don't think they notice. Fuck that, I'll run away. No, I'm not. I'm low-key waiting for someone to fall. Is that bad? That's bad. Don't cancel me, but I'm low-key waiting for someone to fall. Fuck anybody with allergies, you guys would die here. You're probably sneezing looking at the screen right now. 1998, guys. This is when Any was born. Maybe when I go back in here, I can stop her from being born and I can be an only child. Wow. Oh, you're still here? Okay. Let's go. And that's the end of our trip, guys. Hey gang, we're at a gas station right now. We've been driving for a while now. Uh, we're going to a hotel. Don't know if there's any other fun activities anymore. There's so many cars. Oh, are those horses? Are you... Those are horses! Holy schnizzles, dude. That's crazy. Once again, my family leaves a teenage girl alone in the car. If I get kidnapped, I'm gonna die. Getting kidnapped is probably one of my worst fears ever. Like if someone were to ask me what's your biggest fear in an icebreaker, it's getting kidnapped. That's fucking terrifying. The fuck you mean you're gonna take me somewhere I don't even know? <laughs> Why am I thinking about this? I'm supposed to be on a cute holiday. No, no. Positive thoughts only. Dude, I'm so tired. Legit, yesterday I was at the beach the entire day and when I came back it was like midnight, 12, whatever. I had not packed yet. My luggage was empty. 
And then I started packing at like 2 a.m. And my flight was at 5 a.m. So I got a good three hours of sleep max. Max. Plus the three hours on the plane where I slept on the man's sweater. <laughs> I still think about it because it's so random. It's so random. That was the most random thing ever. I'm so dead. I'm so done. I'm so tired. I'm so exhausted. I'm so famished. I'm so whatever the fuck cinnamons there are for tired. We're in the lobby of the hotel. All I can think about right now is the hotel free breakfast. I travel solely for the hotel free buffet breakfast. It's so good. I dream about it every day, every night. It's so good. Now, why are we getting techno club with the lights here? What's going on? Why are the streets empty? It's literally 9 p.m. It's a, it's, there's no one. There's no one except us here. I'm gonna pee my panties here. This is terrifying. There's no one here except us. Mm -hmm. <gasps> this is so damn creepy. Red grape. Taste, taste the red grape. One out of 10. Hi, I'm in the bathroom. Everyone else is sleeping, so bear with me. Tomorrow we're supposed to go shopping and snowboarding. Crazy, crazy activities. Help me. Happy morning. Breakfast. What I've been waiting for. Breakfast is eight. Yeah, now I need to take a big fat shit. We're at the shopping outlet. Everyone left me. I'm here alone shopping. There's nothing good. There's nothing good. What's going on? I used to come here and find such cute stuff. Now there's like nothing. Guys, shopping is done. Let me give you a haul. I got nothing. But, but we're gonna go skiing now. We're at the skiing hotel now. Look at this view. Wow, it feels really cozy here. I feel like I've been half-assing this vlog mostly because I just want to enjoy the moment and not actually film Yeah, forgot my outfit check Sweater from Trendy Thrifted Malta Look at how cool the patterns are Check them out if you want to be as cool as me Why is the lighting so weird? Now we're at the ski resort Ski resort because we're not actually in the mountains It's like a fake artificial snow We're eating at a restaurant right now and you can see the people like ski down I'm gonna have to embarrass myself in front of everyone eating at this restaurant My problem isn't the fact that I don't know how to snowboard. My problem is the fact that I can't go up the fucking T-bar. I kept falling and I couldn't get back up and I had to walk all the way down while every teenager stares at me. Uh. I'm done with snowboarding. I am in need. Of a fucking shower. I feel so musty right now. I look musty. I feel musty. <sighs> I want tomato soup. Hi, just took a shower. I've been eating these cheese puffs all by myself on the bed. Life is great. I have never been happier. Since I do a cartwheel every time I'm abroad, I feel like it's fitting here. So happy. You guys are on a tray right now. There's so much stuff for breakfast. I'm going inside. Hi, Hi. Good morning. I just ate my breakfast. I stole a lot of chocolate sprinkles from the breakfast buffet. Happy day three of the Netherlands. Right now it's the 4th of April. In two days it's gonna be my birthday on the 6th. I'm so happy. I'm turning 17. Can you believe that? I'm legal to drink in Malta. Oh. Guys, I don't like growing up. I want to stay a teenager forever. <laughs> Anyways, enough of my yapping about my birthday and growing old. We're going to go to Amsterdam Center today. Also, if you heard something shake, it was probably the 
chocolate sprinkles I stole from the breakfast buffet. Funny story, we left Amsterdam the first 40 minutes we were there. Now we're at another hotel, the airport hotel, doing whatever the fuck because, well, funny thing is parking in Amsterdam is charged by every 15 minutes. And the average price every 15 minutes is like five to seven euros. So if you were to calculate that, one hour of parking is like 20 euros. How am I supposed to shop till I drop if parking for 15 minutes already costs my newborn child. <laughs> Guys! <laughs> I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I've been sat here on this chair. I've just been watching TikTok Wrist Party. <laughs> They're so funny. Those who get it, get it. Morning, guys. <laughs> this has been like the most boring travel vlog ever, but it's fine. I'm fine, but whatever. We're going back to Malta today. Tomorrow's my birthday, which is insane. Ah! Uh, why is Malta so hot? So 